a firmware update for Plethora X5 and Plethora X3. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, uh, there's something here for you guys. Um, we know you've been waiting for this, so let's dive into it and see if some of the things that you have requested, well, all of the things that we've put in here have been requested, of course. Um, but let's see what it is. Yeah, so basically the patch revolves around uh, tap tempo and MIDI capabilities. Okay. And uh, I think let's just dive right into it. Yeah, um, let's do it. First thing we want to showcase is uh, something we have called the tap tuner block. So you can basically... Oh, so it's a separate block. Yeah, exactly. It's a new utility block. Um, if we try to select it here, we can see that... Uh, let's just start without... Oh, not the MIDI. That was spoilers for later. Yeah. Um, but when we look at it here, we can see that it showcases a tempo. Um, and then we can tap, and it updates the tempo. And you can press and hold to access the tuner. Tuner, tap tempo block. And then you might think, but what does it actually do? Just so shows a number. Uh, but what it is, is it's of course an always on tap, uh, tap tempo, so you don't have to press and hold like on the delay, for example. Um, and what it can then do is that it can synchronize this tempo to other effects. Yeah, so, so it's like we, the global tap tempo. That yeah, exactly. Requested. It's global tap tempo, basically. Yeah. So if we go into a bar settings, for example, then we'll just change the delay to the tap tempo just so we can see that something is actually going on. And then there's this new thing called tempo sync, which is basically whether you want a, a block to, or like a, a slot to subscribe to this global tap tempo. So it doesn't necessarily apply to all effects if you don't want it to. So we apply it to the delay on slot four here. Now you can see the icon in the top right exactly. corner. Yeah. And if we try to update the tempo on the tap tuner, we will notice that the tempo on the delay block actually updates as well. Yeah, so now it's uh, 145 BPM. Try to tap a tempo. Yeah. Not a lot of repeats though, but... Not a lot of repeats, we can do something about that. Turn it up a bit as well. As you would expect, but that's very cool. Yeah. So that's from this board, global to all the other boards, if yeah, you wanted it to. Yeah, it saves uh, the global tempo across boards. Well, okay, cool. Obviously. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. So, is there anything else with the tap tempo that has been updated or changed here? Yeah, I think uh, it's worth to note that you don't ha actually have to use the tap tuner block to yeah. gain access to global tempo, so we could just as well replace it with, let's say we want Vintage Echo as well. And then uh, you can see it's still in tempo mode, but if we then go into settings, bar settings, tempo sync, and then apply tempo sync to that slot as well, yeah. then we can just update the tempo on this slot with the regular tap tempo, yeah. and it also updates the other yeah. tempo sync slots. Okay, cool. So the the tap tempo, the global tempo, you can use it if you want, but you can still, um, and you can tweak it a little bit to, from your last setting or from your last tap tempo, and you can have individual tap tempo for all the effects if you want. Exactly. That's very cool. Um, the MIDI cable. Yeah. There's something about the MIDI cable. There is. Let's just select the tap tuner here just for so showcasing yeah. uh, purposes. Cool. There. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the MIDI cable, MIDI clock sync is here, yes. finally. So if we try to plug this bad boy in, so we have a, a MIDI controller over, over here, which sends out a clock signal right now. So we plug that in. We see that the global tempo syncs up yep. to the tempo over here. Um, and yeah. you can change it. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. And it follows. Yeah, so, uh, very nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, know that it has been a requested feature as well. Yeah, so, um, and I think especially, like you said earlier, if you don't want the, the tap tuner block, maybe on an X3 where you don't have as many slots and you don't want to, and you want to use MASH, for instance, on the X3, you can now actually have externally tapped tempo via exactly. MIDI, for instance. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. 
What about MIDI in general? Has anything been changed? Yeah, we've uh, in general uh, expanded the MIDI capabilities uh, quite a bit. So uh, one thing that was highly requested, uh, a very simple thing actually, but uh, to be able to access the ah. tuner via MIDI CC. So uh, that's possible now. <laughs> that's pretty neat. Uh, so no more triple tapping of a of a foot exactly. switch. Then we have the MIDI tap. So basically. Uh, do tap tempo of the global tap tempo with MIDI CC messages as well. Um, then we have added uh, extended control of the individual slots, so you can basically control each uh, each pot meter. Um, yeah, for se separately for each. Yeah, exactly. For slot. for each slot, you can mm -hmm. control the different pot meters and the mesh as well. Um, so here, for example, I've ma uh, mapped this. Uh, Slider here to control uh, the pod meter one of mm. uh, slot one here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's try to put a mesh effect here as well. Chorus, I believe that has mesh as default mapping. Just yeah, see. exactly. And then uh, the XY pad here, on the chaos pad, I've mapped that to control. Um, uh, the mesh parameter of slots two and three respectively. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Exactly. I see. It. So you can actually see it updating up here. Yeah, so the x axis is exactly. one of them and the y axis is Exactly. The other. And you can, of course, control this with any MIDI controller you would like. Uh, this is just, just for show, yeah. basically. Oh. My knob just broke. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, PRS. Well, that broke. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, and yeah, you can control the expression modifier as well, which was previously only available via the. Uh, Global expression pedal. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. now you can have a MIDI uh, <coughs> expression or like expression via MIDI. Yeah, but you, you can both uh, control the global expression uh, via MIDI, but you can also just control the individual expression modifiers actually, mm. which is sort of like an extra invisible pod meter under the hood. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's pretty neat as well. That's neat. So, that, so you really get um, extended control ex from MIDI via MIDI. Definitely. Control of a lot of different um, settings within Definitely. each effect. That's cool. That's yeah, very nice. So all the MIDI people there. So you can you <laughs> can do a really deep dive here and uh, yeah. do some crazy things now. Yeah. So. Nice. So we have expanded on MIDI functionalities. We have global tap tempo. We have external like via MIDI MIDI sync, um, and there's the individual control via MIDI. Is there anything else that has been included in this? Yeah. Um, patch? There's the possibility of doing a system import right now. Ah. Um, so previously, it has been possible under the service menu uh, of the uh, of the plethora uh, to do a system export, where you basically get this file uh, that you can then, yeah, save for support reasons and stuff like that. But we thought it would add value for the user to also be able to actually import that file <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, actually create a backup of a. Of your en entire device, uh, so you can do that now. Uh, but I think we will dive into that within a, another video. Yeah, I think that should be like a separate. Video. Just show it real quick. It's yeah. in the global menu. Then there's a new uh, menu called Restore Point. Mm. And basically, you can save one locally, but you can also export and okay. import uh, from files. Uh, well, that's that's so. nice. That's also been requested a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, that's good. <coughs> that's cool. Um, well, I think that. I think this was it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just thinking, is there something we forgot? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's Well, that's, that's it. very cool. I think it sounds good for now. It sounds like some some concerns have been addressed here and we really hope that you guys uh, appreciate some of the th some of the things that have been updated here. Um, and still, of course, we're listening for your uh, for your requests. So don't just let them keep coming. Um, this is the new firmware up update for Plethora X5 and for Plethora X3. Is there anything we should show going out that maybe is uh, is interesting? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We can perhaps uh, sync this up with uh, show the MIDI clock with the. Uh... Yeah, let, 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 let's play a bit with some delay stuff. Uh, let's switch this to uh, delay and then. And analog delay, put some feedback in there. Yeah, 
a nice pitch shifting action going. Yeah, because I think it's interesting what you're doing on the on the chaos pad here on your. <laughs> <laughs> so you can really control a lot of things, and 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 this may not yeah, make but sense think necessarily think. musically, but uh, but just the fact that you can control the mesh, yeah. and control you can control individual parameters. I mean, you can really control a lot of things and and go crazy places if you want to. Crazy oscillation. You know? oh, I think this can do like pad motion. I'm not saying it's good. Oh, this is but you can do some crazy automation stuff. Now. You can at least you can end the show with something that goes even beyond just using mesh for a single effect. Exactly. Yeah. Well, we're not saying you should, but you can. Yeah. <laughs> so on that on a very unscripted note here at the end, uh, thank you guys very much for all your comments. Um, hope uh, the. These new features for the firmware update will come in handy and that it addresses some of your concerns. And we are still listening to you. Sorry it took so long, but yeah. now we have it. Firmware update, Plethor X5, Plethor X3. Thank you very much, Matthias. You're welcome. And thank you for listening. See you next time. Bye. Bye.